Hi, my name is Brandon Perez. Hi, my name is Crystal Claros. Hi, my name is Andrea Arias. And I am a student director for the DE class production of Almost Maine. Hi, my name is Katie Howard. My name is Byron Andre Salazar. I am directing scene one and scene six. Um, I'm doing scene two and scene eight, Sad and Glad and Seeing the Thing. I am directing scenes three and five. The um, scene three is This Hurts and scene five is They Fell. I'm directing scene one, Her Heart, and scene seven, Story of Hope. I'm directing Sad and Glad in act one and in act two, I'm directing They Fell. What roles do you hold or have you held in RPA in the past? How is directing different from these roles? Previously in Rock Creek Performing Arts Productions, I have been a sound designer and I've worked on the soundboard as an operator, so I've really had a focus in sound in that technical area. It's kind of a very different experience. I've been an actress for four years, but within my four years I've also done design for costumes, I've done design for makeup. I'm always trying to take on new roles since the beginning I've been wanting to do a little bit of everything. I never ever thought that I would be directing a show. Um, I've always been very keen on just acting and singing and doing the whole musical theater bit. Um, I have been on tech crew for two shows and I have been um, a dancer and ensemble for um, Tarzan and Adam's Family. So I've been Cogsworth in uh, Beauty and the Beast. I've been Alf in Peter and the Starcatcher. I've been a few ensemble roles. I've been uh, I've been Chef Louie in The Little Mermaid. I've been Porter in Tarzan. So I, I've been a I've been a few roles. It's a whole new perspective because I get to take everything that I've learned from my past roles and kind of give them to the people who I'm trying to direct. What themes are you trying to emphasize personally and as a team? We decided as a group that our theme would be warmth. The warmth just symbolizes the love of the entire story. Almost Maine is located in a very cold place. In fact, most of it's actually taking place in the winter and the snow. I think all of it's taking place in the winter. And we're here to emphasize more of the warmth, love, compassion. Love just has always brought this natural warmth you know, to any person's life. And hopefully have the audience have that emotional reaction. As a team, we've decided to um, really take the aspect of intimacy within the scene and um, kind of making the audience feel like they're jumping into an almost main life. Can you describe what this process is like as directors? This process is really different from what I've normally done. It's really interesting. I love helping actors because I've, I've been in many roles before, like acting roles, so this is a really cool play to showcase what else I can do and how to morph those actors in my own way. It's really, it's a lot of fun. It's very hard, but also very exciting. And honestly, I look forward to it every single time I walk into class. It's very interesting figuring out how to convey my ideas and what I want from the scene to the actors. Oh, it's, I mean, it's interesting. It's cool being able to be with my peers and kind of push them to grow. It's, it's challenging. It's a lot more challenging than you would think. It's been a really big challenge, but super great learning experience. Has this experience changed at all your perspective on directing and the pressure we as actors put on directors? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, 100%. Completely. <laughs> yes, this has, this has totally changed how I feel about like directors in general, like their job is hard. Directing's kind of really difficult. Honestly, it's really, really hard. I have never knew how hard it was. Like it is a hard job to get a scene from point A to point B. Point B is far away. I have a lot more respect for, you know, all that our directors do for us and how patient they are with us. So yeah, a lot more appreciation for the directors. 